Now with the enable secret and enable passwords taken care of, we're going to start protecting our switch at the physical level. And that's that line con zero, our console port connection. And before we start configuring the password, I want to show you what that actually looks like. And console ports are not unique to Cisco devices by any means. Almost any piece of network hardware you're going to have is going to have a console port because you have to have a starting point for configuring that hardware. So it's going to look something like this. And usually on a Cisco device, it's off by itself on the back. It's not next to other ports like you see here with this one, which is next to an internal port. And every once in a while, you can work with a device like this. And if the, if the closet is crowded and you got wires everywhere, kind of fumbling around, just make sure that you're connecting to the console port when you think you're connecting to the console port. When you're doing it, when you put a piece of hardware on your desk and you're configuring it with your laptop, then obviously the console port is not going to be terribly hard to find. But whatever device you're working on, Cisco or otherwise, it's going to look a lot like that. Now, let's go back to our configuration. We're on the console line. I have my exec timeout 00 and logging synchronous lab commands on, but there's no kind of password protection. And we're going to start fixing that right now because maybe I don't want just anybody walking up to my hardware, connecting to it, looking like they know what they're doing, and then wiping out my config. So I'm going to protect my console port, and I'm going to start that by going line con zero and then enabling login. Now I'm going to use a highly technical term here. This message freaks people out. Okay? Login disabled because that's all they say. Oh no, what did I do to the login? I disabled it. No, you didn't disable it. You disabled it until password is set, which makes perfect sense. So now when you see it the next time, you will not be freaked out. All you have to do now is set the password. And I call this a one-size-fits-all password or a single or a, a all-users password because that's what we're doing here. We're just putting a password on the port. Better than nothing. Maybe there are better options. Let's get this up and running first, though. And you put password, and I'm just going to go with basketball in all over case. And that's it. So let me do a logout. And I get the same message I got earlier. Press return and get started. User access verification. We didn't see that last time. Now I'm getting asked for a password. Which password should I enter? I know you know this, but which password should I enter? That's a good test question. That's a good practice exam question too. Here's your config. Here's what you're trying to do. Which of these passwords are you going to enter? And the key here, of course, is user access verification. We haven't even gotten to enable mode yet. We are just trying to get into the console port. So if I enter basketball right here, after I was waiting for that, um, there is a timeout. Nothing horrible is going to happen if you have three of these, but just like we had three bad passwords in the last video, and then it just wheeled me right back around to the same point of pressing return to get started. If you have three timeouts here, then it's just finally going to say, okay, we're going back around to where we were. It's not going to you know, lock the switch down or anything. And there we go. So I entered basketball, and again, this particular password did not appear. So when we typed the enable password or the enable secret in in the last video, didn't appear. We typed the console port password in here, didn't appear. Now, if I want to get to work, I want to go into enable mode. And now I'm being asked for another password. Which password do I enter here? Hmm. And let me ask you this. If you were looking only at the config of the switch and you didn't know what this was, would you know what to put in? Hmm. Well, I entered CCNA, which was our enable secret. Enable secret always takes precedence, precedence that is, over enable password of CSENT in this case. So CCNA was the right password to type. But that's really the key with that enable secret. Because if you were just given the config and you tried saying, oh, okay, well, what I need to get into enable mode is dollar sign one, dollar sign lowercase t, uppercase q, nine, uppercase e, you get the point. Uh, obviously, that's not going to work. So you would not know just by looking at the config that the password here is CCNA. And if we go down, okay, I need to do a quick save here. Then we can look at that config port. I'll start doing a filter so we don't have to do that. And 
We've got exec timeout zero zero. There's logging synchronous, but also there's login and the password of basketball sitting there in clear text. So out of the three passwords that we've entered to this point, enable secret, enable password, and a login password on the console port, two out of the three are in the clear, are in clear text. In the config is clear text. Not something we really want in today's world. We're going to address that, but there's something else I want to talk about here as well. And that's just, I guess, really the social aspect here of this one-size-fits-all password, the single password. Because you and I know, and I'm talking off the record here, I'm speaking into a microphone, but I'm talking off the record. You and I both know passwords get shared. Yeah, I know, big secret. I hope you were sitting down. Uh, and we know that happens. I've been in places uh, that I worked a decade previously and passwords had not been changed since I was there. I am not kidding. Doesn't happen often these days, uh, but it does happen. And the thing is, again, not only is a password sitting here in clear text, it's one password. There's no accountability here. There's no way for us to track users if they log in as Chris Bryant. You know, well, what did Chris Bryant do after he came in? We just have a password of basketball. That's all we have. So maybe we should come up with something a little more demanding than this. I mean, this is better than nothing, but not a whole lot. Clear text password sitting right there. Coming up next, we're going to configure a username password database. Don't let the word database scare you. It's the easiest database you're ever going to create. And then we'll see exactly how to apply it to that console port. All coming up next.